by the way of the dream and bef- the prophecy that you that you said before you even heard the dream it it shows me the hurt in him blessings blessings to blessings. you guys god bless you all yes 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 <laughs> y'all this is our first video after um the passing of my mother-in-law and we just want to thank you so much for the love and the concern. Thank you so much. The inboxes, the comments, everything, the calls. We really appreciate it. Um, I really, really, I'm, I'm, go- we, we are strong. We want y'all to know that we are strong. And I just feel for my husband. <laughs> I really do feel for my husband. And yeah, I'm just, you know, uh, never experienced anything close like this. But, uh, you know, it's going to always happen once in a lifetime, you know. Uh, what can we do? Nothing. We just have to move forward, trust God, keep on standing. You know, there is nothing God don't know about, you know. Uh, at the same time, He will always bring comfort. And I believe that uh, through you guys' prayers and everything, God is bringing comfort uh, you know not just only me my wife and our family and uh, we sincerely appreciate you guys yes and we we try not to make this whole thing a video but yeah. um i just uh, we we definitely are thinking positive on this yeah. you know we know that she's with king jesus Amen. and um heaven needed her there for a reason um, but we appreciate her. I mean, I'll tell you this. She was the best mother-in-law a woman can have. Amen. <laughs> like, it's nothing that I can complain about with her. Like, um, a lot of people experience bad mother-in-laws. But one thing I can say, I didn't go through that with her. She was a sweet, kind woman. And every time I talked to her, she used to say, my beloved. <laughs> She's coming all the time. And I was the like. Morning. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And even when she was in pain, she would still smile. And mm. um, she blessed this ministry a lot, praying for us, encouraging us, even prophesying to us. Mm. Not only that, but she helped us with the medical bills in Africa and yeah. Nigeria. And, uh, you know, one thing you can do is trust your family members to do it. And uh, I will see her on the videos. And I know my mother in law. Well, my mother-in-law, by her face, I knew that she would be in pain. Yeah. Y'all, we took her to doctors, medical. We did all we could, but, you know, that's just how it is. But, you know, she was... This one thing I know is that made her happy when she fed the hungry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she when loved, she prayed for she people. Loved that. She yeah. loved that. Yeah. That kept a smile on her face. And, um, but, you know, with, with her and my husband... That was like his best friend. I know that that was his mother, but that was also his best friend. You know why? Because he talked to his mama maybe twice a day. More than that. Probably more least. than that. He probably didn't want to tell me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, like uh, knowing my mom, what she been through, the, her pains and everything in life and uh, all the struggle. And now God has been so much faithful in every areas of her life. Uh, you know, I, I just, I was, I was just trying to make sure that she, you know, she's happy. You know, she, she can see one of her kid, you know, calling all the time, checking upon her, looking in her face. And at least I know when she's feeling pain, she need doctor, she, you know, uh, so many times uh, always, you know, there for her because she don't have, uh, you know, like sometimes you can tell that your mom need to communicate with the, with the children. And, uh, you know, being there all the time until almost her last breath when she said she want to see me that was when i know oh, wow. that something is going to be crazy because uh, even sometimes i will be like hey mom do you want me to come you know when she's still good you know she will be like no no not now mm-hmm. but for her to use that word at that time i know her i was like for her to say something like this god please take control you know I don't know it. She was in the hospital for two weeks, and uh, that yeah, was the longest she's weeks. ever been in the hospital. Yeah. 
And uh, we was really trying to stay positive. But one thing I can say is that um, my mother-in-law was in heaven. And uh, we we don't want to say that she's 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 passed. We want to say that she's still living because she's still w- with us. And I know that she's in heaven watching over us. And she's definitely watching over all of her children being strong yeah. and loving on one another. Um, so just continue to keep us up in prayer. Yeah. Keep the Wabo family up in prayer. Um, we're going to continue to... Uh, you know, do the work of the Lord. Definitely. That's Definitely. what she would want us to do. Yeah, because uh, mm-hmm. if I didn't preach on Sunday, maybe we went, we went somewhere or we didn't pray every prayer night. She was like, well, what's going on? Oh, yeah. mom, I need to go to work. Or, you know, she yeah. always makes sure she tune in. She always makes sure, you know, she always encourages us. And even starting this ministry, she was one of the, the strongest lady that was like, you can do this. Yes. And... Yes. And your comments were were on point, you yeah. know, because uh, we know a lot of y'all parents have passed, a lot of your yeah. family members have passed, and y'all, you know, y'all basically showed us, hey, yeah. you know, we've been through this, y'all can y'all can do it, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we're gonna stop talking about this <laughs> because uh, we don't want to get emotional. My wife had a dream, and I would have to share this dream. Yes, I did have a dream, but before. I do this dream. I want my husband to see his picture. My husband don't know who he is. You know, I don't think he does. Let's see the picture. Let's see <laughs> yeah. the picture. Picture will confirm if I do or not. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember. I remember this guy. You do know him, okay? Yeah. Um, do you hear anything about him? I love when my husband prophesies <laughs> through pictures. The enemy has really manipulated him that as uh, right now he have a wicked mind. Wow. The enemy has really manipulated him that he has a wicked mind. Like he don't have feelings no more. He don't care about anything no more. Wow. Well, I had a dream about him. Hit it. So in this dream, he was a young kid, really young kid. And he was at a table. And it's like I began to see through a video of what was going on because somebody was secretly recording him. And I began to see the video. That's how it was like. So he was a kid. He was sitting at a, a table because they were at a restaurant. And it was, uh, he was sitting in the middle and it was two men. And this man was talking. And I began to see, um, it was his name. His name is Tyler James. I began to see Tyler as a kid and he was smiling, right? So then the gentleman was talking to the other man. And he began to say, I told him that if he want to do this, and, and, and that the, the him being handsome and, and this ain't going to get him nowhere. That he got to do specific things to get where he want to be. Wow. This is what I told him. And so as Tyler was listening to this man talk, his smile disappeared. <laughs> and I felt in my spirit that this boy is going to get turned out because... Uh, where he wanted to be, you know, you know, uh, as a kid, he wanted to be famous. He, he wanted to be in this, in, in the, this, uh, you know, television industry or uh, movie industry, but he just did not know what he was getting himself into. It's, it was so sad. And the dream ended. Wow. Man. I don't even think there is anything to add in this whole dream they really really captured him man look at a prophecy and the dream they really really captured him and everything sincerity kindness happiness everything is just gone and he just need a serious prayers because the reason why god is bringing this dream is something that they are about to uh, 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 do towards him. They're really about to set up a trap for him that w- that will make him more dangerous. Oh. You know, it, it will make it, people will be like, 
how how can this be possible? Right, because we all watched him through Everybody Hates Chris. That's the television show. That's how I know him. And, you know, he plays such a good part, like an innocent kid just growing up, sweet kid. And if we hear anything bad about him in his personal life, we will be very shocked about it. Yeah, and we just everybody need to know that this is not him doing this because of uh, how the world manipulated him because of what he want to do. He's you know he want to be that that fame. He want to be at the top. He want to just uh, you know do everything it takes. And unknown to him that this is how it's going to result and. You know, whenever the enemy wins somebody, whenever the devil wins somebody, it makes them so mean. It makes them just to always want to do evil, just to keep on progressing. But we need to pray for him. I believe that uh, there is still a little spirit of God in him that will also help him out, strengthen, because iron sharpened iron. I don't know much about uh, his family, but I can tell a little bit from what I can see concerning his mother. His mother has has a kind, like he she has a feelings for people. If uh, we can pray that God will help through the the mind of the mother, you know, it will be able to help and rescue this young man. This young man. I pray that he will be able to be set free and come out because I see something tragedy coming upon his life. Only God will be able to save this man. Wow. So I have to ask ask a question because I know a lot of people are going to ask this question, you know, if the Lord can help us. Has he already went through things as a young kid to get to his fame, all right. Yeah, gonna do, yeah, okay. yeah. He's already he, he, this. Your dream happened. It was a reality that God was showing, right? You know, so through these prophecies and everything, just exactly who he is right now, and they really got him at a young age. At a young age, yes, I I figured that because by the way of the dream and bef- the prophecy that you that you said before you even heard the dream, it, it shows me the hurt in him. Yeah. The Like when you've been hurt by adults, because you think adults are adults, but you don't, then as a kid, he's probably saying, man, this these people are evil. So his heart is hardened. You know, a lot of people think, you know, Justin Bieber is mean, but they don't really know what Justin yeah. Bieber been through mm-hmm. when he was a young kid. Yeah. And so they just see him just being like, a, oh, he's he don't care for his fans, or he don't, he he probably like y'all just don't know what I yeah. had to to get to to go through to get these fans. Yeah. Like they don't even know that they that they're being possessed <laughs> by a spirit that yeah. these really ain't my fans, you know. Yeah. So their hearts will be gone. Their heart is gone, and they probably feel like I'm gonna have fans regardless because of. Of the sacrifice I went through yeah, yeah. as a young child, like it's sad. Yeah, Lord Jesus, please pray for this young man. They probably can't talk to their parents about it. Yeah, because the parents would not understand. Yeah, and they, you know, a lot of a lot of them that's in this uh, society, uh, they have to hold on to these secrets. They can't inform their family members no. because it could hurt against them. Yeah, it against their life. Mm. Woo, y'all. This world is wicked. Only yeah. God can help us all. Amen. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye, y'all. Bye.